the better guy. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls. We're now, for this reason, um, we're not going to be saying this too many more times because we're getting very near the end. But just before so, uh, we are back here in the DLC for a very, very good reason, and I've gone ahead before I even knew what I was doing. Basically, yeah, 49 humanity. Wow. Basically, we're here to get invaded. Because I missed a, one NPC in the DLC who I want to get invaded by him and then actually kill him, as well as his invader. Because he's a bit of an asshole. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. And his invasion comes in a wee while, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't want to get killed by the... These things. Wow, okay. And... Yep. He's a little trap. And that is the end of these bloathead soldier people. But now we're actually going to go for the invasion. We're actually going to get invaded, rather. Invaded, yeah. And this invader is a bit of a douche. Pretty much. Because he likes to invade at a kind of awkward time, but, you know, needs must. And to increase my power, I should probably be wearing the right ring. There we go. Rejected. And this invader, somewhere around here, or at least he should be, apparently he's not invading this time. Well, that's kind of weird. He's like normally kind of here. I guess because we've already completed the thing, he's not bothering to evade us this time. Fair enough. That's his prerogative, then I'll just kill him. Straight up. No faffing around. Oh and yeah, while we're here, may as well go and kill someone else. Oh, uh, he's busy. He won't suspect us in a million years. But we shall kill him. Apparently he doesn't care. Screw you. Golf stuff. Think you're golf? Let's go kill some more people. Because that's what we're good at. Killing random people for personal gain. Yeah, so this cleanup is going to be uh, pretty short. There's only uh, really one more NPC I have to... Well, I don't have to, but I want to kill before we move on to the final area and subsequent final boss. But now that Golf's dead, that's basically Gwyn's entire force dead. We're speaking of which... Gwynny boy is the one we're going to be fighting control and god of sunlight. Oh, for Juniper's sake, put some spring into your s <laughs> Did you really slay Knight Artorias? I did. I'd heard the Abyss found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, magnificently so. <laughs> You're creepy. <laughs> 
So long. So long. Creep. Yeah, this is Mr. Uh, whatever you want to call him. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea to attack Chester, but, you know, screw him. I want him dead. Ooh, it's come to blows, has it? Fine, then. I've had enough of you, Eddie. Do you win? Oh, please. Have mercy. No. Chester's crap. Wonderful. So there goes Chester, basically severing all ties here in the past, killing many. And now we shall head to a final area, one, one, la one last person who I intend to kill. I wonder is that a workable point? No, it is. Oh no, it is. Sunlight altar. Yes. Basically. We want to entice our old friend, the Hellkite Drake, back. There he is. Wonderful. Now, the reason we did that, aside from for the lols, was that I intend to kill him. But it's often hard doing that when you can't really reach him. So, I wonder. But, the thing is, I know I'm obviously not going to be able to hit him with spells, I'm going to have to actually fight him face to face. Which is one thing that makes me slightly nervous, only slightly. Because basically, it's going to come down to a fist fight. Actually, it's not going to come down to a fist fight, it's going to come down to a magic versus fire fight, but a fist fight would be much more interesting between a dragon and me. And that would be, um. That would be death for me, I assume, pretty much every time. So, until that point, we're going to want to uh, entice the dragon to breathe some fire, clear him out. Thank you very much. And then we're going to get some pursuers. Go in here. And now we wait, basically. Alright, here he is. And there he goes. The Hellkite Drake is dead. 10,000 souls. Pretty good. Could have been better, though. Could have been better. Now that that's done, we're going to walk to the chamber of the princess. So now that we are here, we need only make our way to the giant blacksmith for one last thing before the end of the game. And here we are with the giant blacksmith. Mm. What's that? Shiny, shiny. Give me that. I make weapons shine. I like this guy so much. He's got such great such great dialogue. Chris Lember. Shiny shiny. I had shiny shiny. I make weapons shiny. Thank you. We shall purchase an item from you, the Twinkling Titanite. And now we shall reinforce our armor. 
I know something you thought I'd never do. We are going to reinforce the crimson. But not the crimson mask, because we're not wearing that. The crimson robe, certainly, and we need Twinkling Titanite to do it. We have plenty. And there we have it, we've used up all our Twinkling Titanite to reinforce our armor. Let's purchase some other stuff from him. May as well get some of this stuff. And then we'll get uh, some giants. So that you know we're getting a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll repair some stuff. So that's us done everything we can. Okay. But before that. Like your uh, giant friend, brother, whatever you are to him, you're going down. Even in death, he's still somehow funny. Blacksmith Giant Hammer. Interesting. Oh yes, and stuff stops respawning after a while. Or in an Arlondo after you've uh, killed the princess. Alright guys, here we are back at Firelink. We have done everything we can, pretty much. There is nothing much more we can do, because now we have plus 5, plus 15, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, all this, all that. We've done pretty much everything that we can to make ourselves as strong and as powerful as possible. Now we will talk to Fremt. Wake up. No, no. Well, and wide awake. That one really made a Not weird sound. Like an old withering but that's precisely what you are. Okay, so finally, one last person needs to die, and it is you, Fremt. You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. <laughs> Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. We he just like disappears, but not to worry. Here we are, back in the Fire Link Altar. And finally, we shall offer souls to the fire. All four Lord Souls at once. And there we have it. To repair our stuff, we have the attuned magic we wish. And there we have it. We are now free to enter Wind's Retreat. But before we do, we have souls to burn. So I shall quickly do that. See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I've burned some souls, but here are the soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. Burn it. 1200. Soul of Quaylag. Burn it. 8000. Soul of Sif. Burn it. 16000. Soul of Priscilla. Not sure how much it's worth, so we'll wait for the thing to go up. Soul of Priscilla. 12000. And finally, a powerful, powerful Dark Soul, the Soul of Artorias. 16,000. I wonder what she will, what shall we equip for this? 
I think I'm just stuck with my standard. Okay. So, finally. We are kitted out. Let us level up. Get more vitality. So here we are, level 94. Completed the game and going to the final area. Through the mist of what would appear to be heaven. But we shall see what truly lies beyond. And here are the ghosts of many black knights, the ones who've fallen in Gwyn's service. Welcome to the kiln of the first flame. This is where the Lord's souls were born, and this is where they must be returned. The place has been ruined as ash as the flame has slowly burnt down from person to person, soul to soul, finally burning down. I will use my knife as I am an honourable fighter. Wow. What did he drop? Titanite chunk? So yeah, you can farm Black Knights and their Titanite chunks of various kinds down here in the Kiln of the First Flame. It's the only place the Black Knights respawn. And it's the only place you can get the Black Knight armor, which is kind of good against fire, which given we're going about to face the Lord of Flame, Lord of Sunlight, Gwyn himself, Wow. It's probably necessary we have some good fire defense armor. And I'm happy with the army we've got right now. These what knights are also a lot tougher than their cousins. Another black knight dead. Red titanite chunk. So yeah, this is what became of the kiln over time. And I shall not be putting on any havels or any of that rubbish. I shall be fighting Gwyn as I am. Fully ready to fight him. There goes another Black Knight, another 2,000 souls. They get some pretty good souls as well off the Black Knights. There's the Black Knight set, finally, after so much Black Knight murdering, we finally get the set of armor. And this literally is just it, it's just a follow up Black Knights to the final boss of the game, Gwyn. But he is no longer Lord of Sunlight or Lord of Flame. For his Age of Fire has withered away this much, as you can tell by the way the kiln is, that he is near he is near more than a cinder. No. So it is technically we're fighting Gwyn. Lord of Cinder. Titanite chunk to finish. And here we are. At the final fight. With Gwyn. Lord of Cinder. Let us enter the fog. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, here he is. The final fight.
Now, as you can tell, Gwyn is aggressive as all hell. Alright, everyone. Attempt two with Gwyn. I want to get my pursuers in as soon as I get through the door, I think. Hopefully that makes some difference. Damn you, Gwyn. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? I need to get myself behind a pillar so I can actually heal. So if I try and heal like this, he's just going to kill me. Where is the bit I'm looking for? I need to win. Wow, F you. Seriously. And, oh come on. Come on, Gwyn. Yeah, let's be Ash. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As you can see, the Lord of Cinder, despite being a Cinder, is still tough. Oh! And he is down. The Lord of Cinder. Wow. Wow. Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. So we have two options. We can either light the flame, and this is one thing I want to talk about before I end my walkthrough. But before I end my 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 total walkthrough of this truly amazing game. In this game, you have a choice. You can re you re can rekindle the fire, which will temporarily remove the undead and prolong the age of fire while your soul burns, or you can leave and rule over the kingdom as a Lord of Dark. Now, this choice pertains to either do you want to be powerful, but it takes your greed, or do you want to be noble, but it takes your life. So, that's what choice you have. But in Dark Souls 2, the choice is ruined by you being forced into one option in Dark Souls 2 and thereby meaning that these things just happen in cycles. This was just another cycle. When it was just this game, you felt like you were making a decision. But you know what? I will always make a decision. I will never make a decision to prolong a, a failing age. So, before we end this off, let's have a look at Gwyn's soul. Which is an item, isn't it? Yes. Gwyn's soul contains an incredible power to make his sword, generally. Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight and Cinder, who linked the first flame. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods, and burned as Cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. Now in Dark Souls 2, a powerful king took part of that soul and became powerful with it. We know him as the Old Iron King from Dark Souls 2. But in this, I will become the power of a Dark Lord. Thank you for watching. I will see you in future videos. Goodbye, everyone. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Karth and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let the true dark be cast upon the world. Our Lord hath returned.